Yeah, I um, appreciate everyone for uh, covering us today. Um, credit to the Kansas City Chiefs. They made the plays um, down the stretch that it takes to, to win these types of games. Um, you know, I know our team is extremely disappointed. Um, we had every opportunity to win the football game, and, and we did not. Uh, coaches, player staff, not any one person, all of us, we did not um, did not make the plays to win the game. And so, um, you know, we uh, we came here to win. We didn't get it done. And so we'll uh, head back to Charlotte and continue to work, uh, getting ready for next week. Let's go to Phil Orban and then David Newton. Matt, the, the aggressiveness on the first two drives, um, what, what was kind of the message to the team that, that you sent in, in doing that, the, the, the fake punt and then going forward on, on fourth and short on the first drive? Um, I think we felt like we had good plays. I mean, we, we, went, we went for it twice last week on fourth down and didn't get them. Um, so I, think it, I don't think it was anything different mindset this, uh, this week. Um, you know, Chase and, uh, Chase and Ed had a great punt fake that they thought would be up, and, and I was going to use it on the first drive, but we converted, so I used it on the second drive. Um, you know, we, we, uh, we just felt like, we just felt like those things were there, um, later on, you know, later on, we obviously converted the fourth and 19. Um, that was just more of a, you know, Hey, what else can you do in the game with that? But, um, but, uh, uh yeah, we, we, we came to win. We came to play to win. Uh, we wanted to get a win and, um, tried to play that way. Hey man, David Newton here. Um, can you just comment on Christian, first of all, on his performance? Second of all, he seemed to be the trainer's looking at his rib area after the game. Is anything serious there? I don't know anything about him injury-wise. No one's updated me um, anything about him yet. Yeah, usually, as I get on the plane, I get anything. Um, I thought Christian did a nice job, yeah, made plays for us, um, um, you know, as he always does. Let's go to Joe Purston and then Elena Getzenberg. Yeah, sorry, Matt. Um, just the idea, kind of following up on the earlier question, was there part of you that, you, like you said, you came and wanted to play to win, and, and that meant going for a lot of the fourth downs, but just the, the whole mindset, going against the defending Super Bowl champs, did you feel like you know you had to match them blow for blow? Um, I, I, again, I don't think it was anything about them, you know, because that was on the first drive. Then we held them to a field goal on their first drive. It was just um, – you know, down, down in there tight, you know, we, we felt like um, looking back over the course of our year, um, what's kept us from winning more games has been not moving the football, but it's been, you know, scoring touchdowns, not field goals. And um, so, you know, went for the fourth and four, you know, the punch fake to me, you know, it's, it was just, uh, we thought we had it. And it was one that if we didn't have the look, you know, we could check out of it. So obviously those things that are well designed like that, make it, uh, make it a lot easier to um, make it a lot easier to execute. To call because you know that they they are the the way they're set up you know they they will be executed. Hey Matt, I was wondering if you could talk us through the decision to go for the first onside kick. Um, you know they were lined up 15 yards off the ball. Um, that's something that we practice all the time. Um, you know we were down two scores. I said when we score, you know we've been watching it all game. We felt like we had it. Um, I just said hey when they. Uh, you know, when, when we score here, whether it's a touchdown or field goal, you know, do, do we think we have it? We thought we had it, so we went for it. Um, and the hope was if we didn't get it, you know, hold them to a field goal, and, you know, because we scored a touchdown and still make it a one-score game. So, um, you know, we uh, we thought we had it, just the ball didn't go nine, you know, 10 yards. You know, if the ball goes 10 yards there, I think we probably recover it, and, you know, momentum was on our side. Then, you know, they, they moved the ball down, and, and we had them stopped on third and eight, but we, uh, we jumped off sides. And so uh, if we don't jump off sides there, we hold them to a field goal. It's still a six-point game and, and um, obviously a lot different. So uh, that, that's just a call that I made. You know, those are, those are the decisions that I have to make. I have to live with them. Um, I, I, I would tell you I'd do it again. Just uh, I thought we had it, and just uh, we just weren't quite uh, able to execute it. Let's go to Jonathan Alexander and then Scott Fowler. Hey, Matt. I'm wondering, do you feel like the, the fourth down conversions and, and going for it kind of got you guys going, kind of motivated the players in any way? I don't think our players had any, any issues being motivated. I think they came in here. They had a great week of practice. I think they came in here ready to go. I thought we had guys, you know, coming back off of injury, you know, battling. I thought our guys played really hard all day. We just, um, you know, we, we just made too many uh, little mistakes. It wasn't like a, a vast difference. You know, we just, you know, we had guys – playing guys man to man and, and uh, guys let guys get away from them, you know, um, you know, hit too many penalties on offense. So not any one person, just all of us as a team collectively um, just, uh, 
just uh, didn't do enough to win the game. And that, that starts with me as the head coach. When you have 12 penalties in a game, it's hard to deserve to win that game. And so, um, you know, to play a team as good as the Chiefs, um, you know, you have to, it has to be a three, four, five, six penalty game. It can't be a 12 penalty game. I, I, I used the wrong word. I actually meant um, gave you all momentum. Did you feel like it gave you all momentum? Well, I mean, yeah, the first one, obviously, you know, they led the touchdowns and I think that that's what we needed. You know, um, we needed some energy, um, but I think our guys were here to play no matter what. Um, they they came knowing it was going to be a battle. Um, they fought back and we took the lead. We fought back. Um, you know, we had every chance to win the game. Coach, uh, a lot of hard decisions there to make on that final drive, too. Can you talk us through sort of the decision making process there and through one and then had Joey try a 67 yard or just sort of that drive in general. Yeah. Well, um, you know, uh, you just referring to the last decisions at the end or accepted, I accepted well, the, yeah, uh, just, yeah, I know that's a long way to go. Just to sort of, you know, how that last drive went, I suppose. I know you would have liked to have gotten. Yeah. I think, um, I think really, uh, one of the main issues on that drive was the, um, was the, um, um, hands to the face, you know, that really set us back. Curtis made a great play, got down, allowed us to spike the ball, um, tried to get the ball. I tried to get the ball. We were trying to get the ball up five, 10 yards to take a chance at the field goal. You know, we had one of those plays designed where it was like throw the Hail Mary uh, and, and on one side and on the other side was the, um, was the out route. Uh, Teddy threw the out route, left two seconds out there, you know, um, had the wind at our back. So we thought, you know, our best chance was to, to kick it. Um, obviously didn't work. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was a long ways to go, um, uh, which uh, which uh, uh, the penalty certainly didn't help. All right, guys, we only have time for one more, so let's go to Steve Reed before we wrap it up. Coach, I just wonder if you talk about uh, uh, McCaffrey. You know, in, you got to struggle a little bit in the red zone without him. I think you've been 10 to 21 this season without him. Right now, I think you're 8 of 9 with him. I just wonder if you talk about the difference that he makes with you guys in the red zone. Um, you know, he scored, I think he scored twice today. I mean, he's, he's a great player and great players show up in, um, uh, in crucial areas, crucial times, third down red zone, two minute, all those things. And, um, he, uh, he showed up in those areas today, almost scored another, um, touchdown right before the two minute warning. Um, or I guess he did right after this, so he had three touchdowns, excuse me, but, uh, you know, our ability to run the football, um, results in way more, uh, red zone touchdowns. And, um, um, he did a, he did a good job.